Howdy, my Power Tots friends. Miss Natalie here, and we are going on a yoga adventure today. Are you excited? I'm super duper excited because we are going to the farm. Okay, so first things first, let's make sure that we have space in the area and that things are safe for us to enjoy our adventure, okay? So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get to the farm. Okay, so I think that we should hop in the car. So come on, let's go. All right, we're gonna sit down in our car, okay? Put your seatbelt on, click. Reach up and bring the steering wheel down, okay? And you can start driving, okay? You can press the gas. Good, you can press the brake. Very nice, what color car is yours? Mine is blue, because blue is my favorite color. Very nice, okay, stick your hand out the window, wave to friends, hello. Good morning. Good. All right, make a really big turn. And let's park at the farm, okay? Push the brake down. Very nice. Okay, let's get out of our car. Oof. And let's stretch up really quick and stretch side to side because I don't know about you, but sometimes sitting down for long periods of time, my body, you know, we gotta warm it up and stretch it out. Okay. Oh. All right, now, can everyone take a look? Look out there at that big farm. I'm so excited that we're going to the farm today. I love animals, do you? Yeah, look out, do you see animals? I see so many. What kind of animals do you see? Oh, I heard somebody say they see a cat. That's right. Maybe some of you guys have a cat that lives at your house right now. Okay, so let's get in our cat position. Okay. Good, we're gonna place all four down, okay? All right. And what does the kitty cat say? It says meow, that's right. So let me hear you say meow, meow. Good. Our paws, right? We can stretch them out. You see kitties stretch like this, right? Come back up. Maybe we want to lick our paws and then clean our whiskers. Mm -hmm. You've seen cats do that too, right? Very nice. Good. Okay. All right, kitty cats. Very nice. What else do you see out on the farm? A doggy? I heard somebody say a dog. What does a dog say? That's right, a dog barks. So we're gonna get in our downward dog position. Very good. All right, and give your tail a little wiggle. You can wiggle your tail side to side and you can bark. Maybe your doggy, you wanna shake out that leg. Good. And maybe try to shake out the other one. Very nice. Good. And what if we come back to our knees and we can go into our, our down dog, right? We can be like this in this position and we can howl, right? Do dogs howl? They do. Let's howl together. Arr, arr, arr. Arr. Very nice howling. Come back. Do you guys have a dog at home? Yes, some friends have dogs at home. I, ha I have no animals. But I used to have a dog and a cat when I was a kid like you. All right, okay, let's take a look now because we were a cat and dog. What else could be out on a farm? Somebody said a cow. That's right. What do cows say? Very nice, mooing. And cows, you know, cows have milk, right? Some of us drink milk, okay? And they can be all different colors. I know, I've never seen a pink one though. But maybe they could, you know, they can dye their hair. So we're gonna get in our cow position. 
God. We're going to suck our tummy in. Okay. And then breathe out. And one more move. Very nice cows. When I was a kid, I used to live near a farm and we would drive past the cows and I would stick my head out of the window and I would say moo, okay? So you guys can work on your moos so well. Very nice job, my friends. Okay, what else? What else do you might find out a, on a farm? I'm trying to think. Oh, somebody just said a pig, right? There are little piggies on the farm. Where do they like to hang out? They like to hang out in the mud, right? Now, most of us don't have mud, but we're gonna pretend that the floor is mud and we're gonna roll all around in that mud because pigs like to do that, right? And they make a, a scrunched up face, right? They're like this. Yeah, they make a oink sound. So before we get in our piggy position, I wanna hear everyone go. Good. Oh. Such nice pigs, my friend. Okay, so lay on your back. And you're going to hug those knees to your chest. And you're going to rock back and forth like you're in the mud playing like a pig. And you can say, oink, oink. Good. And if you want, you can try to grab your toes. And you can rock back and forth like this. Good. Okay, now, throughout our yoga adventure, I have some challenges for my friends. Now, my younger friends might have a hard time, but parents and adults, if you show them, you might be able to get it. But don't worry if you don't get it on your first try. You guys can watch this video again and practice. So my first challenge is my little piggies are going to put their feet together, and then they're going to sit up without using their hands or their feet. Okay, one more time. Roll around in the mud. And then sit up without touching your feet or hands. Good job, my friends. Come back to the middle. Whew, we're feeling warmed up on this adventure, aren't we? Okay, we saw a cat. We saw a dog. We saw a cow. We saw a pig. What else might be on the farm? I'm thinking of something that hops. And it's fluffy. Mm -hmm. I heard somebody say they said a rabbit. I had a rabbit when I was a kid. Actually, I had 13. They were a lot of fun to play with, but I had a lot of them, and it was a lot of work to take care of them. But they are so cute and cuddly when you hug them and they hop around. Now, rabbits can have ears that stick up, or they can have big floppy ears, right? So, we are going to be a rabbit. First, we can just be a little, little bunny. We could just sit and have our ears like this. We're a little bunny, right? Or if we want to stand up, we can put our hands like this or here and we can hop like a bunny. Right? Hop all the way across. And do some more hopping. Oh, what's that down there? Squat down. Wiggle your little bunny nose. It looks like grass and some carrots. Okay? We are going to bend down and stick our bunny ears in the air like this and eat that grass and those carrots because they are delicious. Good job, buddies. Eat more grass. Oh, delicious. Do you guys eat carrots? I love carrots. Okay, so awesome job, my friends. What an adventure. So far we've been six or five different animals, okay? What else do we see at the farm? Oh, somebody said a horse. That's right. Has anyone here ridden a horse before? Can you raise your hand really high? I like horses. They're so big and majestic and powerful, right? But they can also be very gentle. You feed, you know, you feed an apple or a carrot to the horse. So we are going to be a horse. Now there's a couple different versions of this because if you got younger friends and bigger friends, some people that are stronger might have an easier time with this. So I'll show you different ones. And this kit, you know, this is part of my challenge portion of our yoga adventure. So we're going to be in our downward dog. We start in this position, right? Now, we're going to pull one leg in the air like a horse, right? We're really big. 
So our horse horse can kick our leg back. Kick it back like that. Good now for my younger friends. If we can't get our leg like this, we can be on our knee and we can kick. Very nice. We can kick like this. And then we can switch legs. Now bigger friends, we get back up in this position and we kick our feet. Excellent. Now, this is where we get to do the challenge portion. We are going to kick and jump at the same time. Very nice. Kick. Very good. Now switch our feet and try again. Very nice. Are you ready for the challenge one? Good. Now remember, horses, we don't use our knees, right? We use our feet. And what do they say? Nay. Right? And you guys can incorporate those sounds. So we are going to put our feet up like this and we're going to jump and switch. Good. Very nice. Try again. Nay. Right? Now, even more, we can kick and move our hands. So kick. Keep that same leg. Move your hands forward. Kick. Good. Let's try again. Put those hands down, one foot in the air. Kick. And then hop our hands forward. Kick. Hop our hands forward. Kick. Good job, horses. Good. Very nice. Now, I love how all of my friends kept their arms super straight and strong because we need to protect our head, right? Good. Now, there's another animal that lives on a farm sometimes that kind of looks like a horse. Yeah? A donkey. That's right. So, our donkey kicks are going to be a little different from our horse kicks, right? Because we're going to keep our feet together. So, I need my friends to put their hands down like this and up on their feet. And we can do little, little donkey ones like baby ones. Good. And then we can jump even higher and jump high. Excellent. If you want a challenge pose, you can try and kick your feet straight behind you, okay? This uses our tummy muscles. So kick. Oh yeah, it's a very fast move, so you gotta be really powerful so that we don't land back on our knees. But if you do, it's okay. Make sure you have a soft mat. Good, my friends. All right, I'm having so much fun at the farm with you. Thank you for joining me. All right, now there's another thing that lives on the farm. Its face sometimes is black or what? It got, it's got curly hair. Well, man, I guess it could be straight hair too. They could have long hair. They, we, sh they, they make wool. Oh, somebody said it. A sheep. That's right. Does anyone know what sheep sound like? Bah. That's right. They're pretty fun to pet, huh? Their hair is very soft. Bah. So our sheep pose, it looks like this. We're going to just put our hands down like this. Right? Very nice. Okay? So you can say, bah. Bah. Good job, sheep. Very, very nice. You can even walk around. Good. You can walk around. Very, very nice. All right, sheep. Let's come back and meet in the middle. Okay, there's another thing that lives on the farm. And it's big and it has horns. Oh, a bull, that's right. So a big bull. So we're going to stand up. And a bull has horns. So if you want, you can put your horns here. Maybe you have little horns. Or... You can put your big horns out like this. You see how big my horns are? Look at my elbows. They're going to be pretend horns. And we're going to get in this position. And we're going to squat down low. We're going to hold this position. This power position. This is where we're very strong here. Holding this position right here. Good. And I want you to see if you can do that. Kick those feet behind you. Transferring your weight. 
Now, my younger friends, this might be hard, so we can just lean to one side if you can't lift it up and lean to the other. See, I'll show you this way. Good. Lean. And lean or kick your foot. Good. It's kind of like you're getting ready to charge, right? But we're not going to charge with anybody today. Good. Okay, and come out. Relax. Oh, my goodness. Are you having fun so far on the farm, guys? Yeah, me too. Now, I know there are other animals on the farm that what? They have, there's birds, right? All different kinds of animals with feathers that have wings that fly or that fly like a tiny little bit off the ground. So we got a duck. Yeah. What does a duck sound like? Quack, 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 quack. Good. So we're going to be little ducks. We're going to put our wings on. Okay, you can put your wings on the side, or you can put your wings here. And I want you to walk around like a duck and say, quack, 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 Okay, yeah, this is hard move. It's sometimes hard to balance like this. So if you walk, if my friends are younger and it's hard, we can just walk like this. We can walk on our knees and quack. Okay? If this is if that if the version on our toes is hard, good. All right. What else? A chicken. That's right. But I think we should start as a baby chick, right? We'll start in an egg, and then we'll grow from a little baby chick to a big chicken. Okay. So I love baby chicks. Are they so cute? They're so tiny, and you put them in their hand, and their feathers are so soft. And they're so yellow, okay? I hope you guys get to hold one one day because they're so cute. So we're going to pretend that we're an egg. So get down very small in an egg position. Good. And we're going to pretend to break open the shell with our beak, which is going to be our nose because we're pretending. And then slowly move your wings and break it out. Good. Good. Oh, stretch those new baby bird wings. Good. Stretch them out. Good. Okay. And if you can, get up on those toes again, just like our duck position, right? And we can say, right? That's what a chicken sounds like. Sometimes they fly, but they don't get very far. They go up and down. Good. Hop. Good job, friends. Now, friends that are tinier, we can just stay here, flapping your wings, making your chicken noise. Bark, 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 bark. Good. You can, you can peck, peck at the ground and eat some seeds. Good. Come up and down, peck at the ground. Good. All right. Let's do one more. This one's a rooster. Okay. So it's one of our challenge moves and our positions that could be a little bit more difficult for the younger friends. So we're going to put our thumb, which is right here, on our nose. And then we're going to put our pinky with our thumb, see? And we can put it on our forehead too. So you can do it on your nose, your chin, anywhere here on your face is fine. But the best is up here on your forehead because, you know, that little thing on the on the rooster and you're gonna put one leg out good and you're gonna try to hold it in balance now friends who have a hard time with this you can start here on your knee and put your leg out okay this is our mini rooster okay and then you can switch to your back leg and switch your hands and for my bigger friends you just put that other foot behind you okay and what does a rooster say cock a doodle doo Good. Say it again. cock a doo doo Wakes you up in the morning sometimes, right? Good job, friends. All right. So I think that it's almost time to be done at the farm. I really appreciate you joining me. So I think we should hop in the tractor for one more position and drive on back and have a snack before we leave, okay? So we're going to sit in our tractor. Maybe our tractor's green. Maybe it's green. Maybe it's uh, yellow or orange or red. It can be any color. They're big though, right? Those big tires. Good. Okay. And what's usually attached to our tractor? 
Yeah, some sort of machinery, rat. We have a plow with us today because we are plowing the cornfields. So for our plow position, we want to make sure that we keep our head nice and straight and neutral. We don't want to be looking to the side because we're going to hurt our body. So from here, we're going to lay down and we're going to push against the ground and bring our feet behind us. Good. And if you can, I want you to see if you can reach your toes all the way back to the other side. If you can't, you can always put your feet and just leave them up here. Or you can put a chair back there or a pillow so your feet can rest on it. Okay, now we're gonna come down nice and slow because we're done plowing the field. And what did we just plow? What grows a lot? Yeah, we have corn here, you know, but all over the world, there's all sorts of different kinds of farms. Some places grow rice, some places grow soybeans, some grow vegetables, some grow flowers and fruit. Okay, so there are all sorts of different kinds of farms. So we're gonna be a piece of corn, a big corn stalk. So for my younger friends, this is what the baby corn stalk looks like. We're gonna start on our knees. We're gonna put one ear of corn out, another ear of corn, and then a big tall piece of corn, okay? See how we have our different corn stalks right here. Good, now my bigger friends, you can stand up and balance on one leg, like a tree pose, and stick those pieces of corn out. These are called husks, right? A husk of corn. Good, we can switch, we can be swaying. Good, now who knows what we eat? And it's a fun snack, sometimes we eat it while we watch a movie. Popcorn! That's right! I love popcorn. I love making popcorn at home and shaking the container and seeing all the corn kernels pop, 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 pop. Right? So we are going to end our yoga adventure by using all the energy that we have left over and being a piece of popcorn. So I need everyone to squat down into a big ball. And I want you to jump and say pop as loud as you can. One, two, three, pop! Good, wow, that was so high, my friends. You're such a good piece of popcorn, okay? Let's do it again. One, two, three, pop! Good, and I want you to even try, you can even jump and turn around. Let's do one more. One, two, three, pop! Whoa, you guys were such good pieces of popcorn. Let's see you jump all the way up. Excellent job. Okay, let's sit down crisscross and put our hands up like this. Take a deep breath in. Smell the fresh farmer and let it out. Breathe one more time. Let it out. I want to thank you guys for joining me on our yoga adventure to the farm. I had so much fun. And thank you so much for being brave and trying some of those moves, okay? And I cannot wait to see you guys on another yoga adventure. Until then, check out all of our other Power Tots videos, okay? All right, my friends, bye. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for joining me. See y'all, bye.